Inks of Anamosa, Iowa. Second place in the class goes to entry 1666. She is Opsal J. Dynamite Paparazzi, exhibited by Joseph Opsal of Blue Mounds, Wisconsin. And the winning entry and first bread known in the class is entry 1644, Jennings Gap WF Harmony, exhibited by Billy Joe Rhodes, Churchville, Virginia. <laughs> Judge Harbaugh, your comments. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, you can do better than that. Give these people a big round of applause. What an exceptional class. This class runs 30, 35 calves deep with a lot of quality. That being said, a trio of calves that parade around the ring with so much style, grace, and balance. The calf that leads out the class does so on her advantage in being just a little fuller up through the crop region today than the beautiful open rib calf coming along in second. When this first calf's out on parade, she just gives you a little more style, a little more balance out through her frame than the calf in second. But you really do admire the openness, the spring, the sweep of the rib structure of this silky hided calf coming along in second. And she uses her spring of fore rib, her spring of rear rib, her depth of rear rib and flank to place over a tremendously stylish calf we have coming along here in third. The third calf, when she came in the ring, I thought I was going to win the class with her. She got over on this side and we lost her just a little bit down in the hole. Ladies and gentlemen, our judge has completed his placings in the Milking Shorthorn Age Cow class. Our junior winner, if you could take a step forward, she is entry 1002, Elite HP Prem Firecracker, shown by Wyatt Novice of Waupon, Wisconsin. Third in the class is entry 1007, GMC Reuben Lady 1409 EXP, shown by Nathan Terran, Hampton, New York. Second in the class, to entry 1001, In Effect RI Duchess 5165 EXP, shown by Bethany and Bryant Fortin, Ellenberg Center, New York. Our winning entry, she's also best utter, best bred and owned, and the production award winner. Congratulations to 1004 core star Presto Lulu E.T., shown by Corey and Kristen Salzal, Litchfield, Minnesota. Congratulations. Isn't that a fine cow to win this class? My goodness. Beautiful frame, dairy from end to end, so much balance, so good on her feet and legs. And when you get behind her, look at that mammary system, height and width. Just an outstanding cow. She wins this class so handily. It is that overall frame, dariness from end to end that carries her over another cow coming out in second. Our second place cow, nice straight line kind of cow, carrying a good memory system. But a cow you'd like to see her just chiseled down just a touch more to get higher in this class today. It is that overall height and width of her memory system that takes her over our cow coming out in third. Third place cow, beautiful frame cow, walks uphill, straight in her lines, very comfortable on her feet and legs. But I think today to get her higher in this class, she's going to have to be in, in, in uh, bloom of milk, kind of a little more bang to that rear udder to get her higher today. It is that overall frame and that up here will run and that overall cleanliness of her chine that carries her over our cow coming out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just more cow from end to end. She moves a little freer on her feet and legs. Nice cows from top to bottom. Congratulations. 